Hi fellow makeup fiends, today I'm going to do my May Glossy Box video. Um, as you know I get two Glossy Boxes because Alec gets me one as well. It's very exciting. He actually gets completely different products that I do so I get, end up getting two very different boxes which is very good. Um, I've got the lid off this one. I have actually opened both of them because I've got all my brushes in my lid ready to take to the bathroom to wash. It's just quite easy just to put them in there after I've used them for this morning. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a sort of colourful look on today. Quite inspired by summer and I'm going to do an outfit of the day as well. Um, I might put that separately though because it's kind of a curvy girl sort of shorts for summer sort of outfit of the day. So yeah, if you don't like getting your legs out in the hot weather, this is kind of an alternative. So I'll show you that in the video after this. But um, yeah, my hair's just kind of shoved up there. It is so hot. Um, I've got a very different look on my eyes today. So, very sort of um, rainbow sort of look. I kind of think of it like as an oil slick look. So we've got like the green, the aqua blue, the purples and the pinks in there and some black. And I really love it. I've took some photos and I'll put them at the end of this video. So you can kind of Sorry see about that. that. The postman's just arrived and it's just better. Than. Anyway, so we'll get back to the glossy boxes. Um, it comes in different sort of wrapping this month. And this is sort of the grease proof paper sort of feel to it. But it's got on um, nail polish, a mascara wand, um, a makeup brush, a compact bottle of perfume, and the number one, because of course it is glossy boxes birthday this month. And on the ribbon, it says anniversary box which is quite clever of them so I suppose they ordered quite a lot of this and they can always use this for next year's box because it doesn't say first anniversary yeah so very clever now I never look at this when I've opened it but um yeah I have actually opened this one so but this one has got the number one and it's all made out of like products there I'm gonna grab my glasses because I'm gonna need them sorry oh dear <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. I don't have a calamity there. Oh, Tony has brought this because this is something that was in the box the Happy Birthday Glossy Fox balloon. And you're supposed to take a picture with it and then put it on Facebook, which I haven't done yet. Um, but yeah, she's got that one, but I've got two of these, so that one's Tony's balloon. Anyway, Glossy Box. So it says Happy Anniversary. Celebrations are in order as it's our first birthday. How it is you lucky ladies that will be recipients of all the gifts? So you got it. It just basically says blow up the balloon, take a photo, post it on the Facebook page or tweet it to us. Just a bit of birthday fun. And um, it also tells you about the special little extra that's in there for the birthday. So the list of products is on here. I can look at this now because basically I've opened the box and I've looked. I always keep these cards and then I can come back and do sort of review sort of videos months after and kind of go through what I am continuing to use, what I didn't like so much and just kind of feedback on those. I've done one of those videos before. So we'll put them to one side for just a moment and talk about what's in the boxes. So this was the first box that arrived. Now one of them arrived on Wednesday morning. I literally just went into my emails and the same day I got it. Crazy. And the other one arrived the day after. So now this one I had sort of mixed feelings about and a little bit of surprise to be honest because there is a very high street item in here and it's Collection 2000 which was a bit of a shock to be fair. Um, so this is the new Collection 2000 Last and Colour Gel Eyeliner. I did a video on this but didn't upload it and I did talk about it because I did actually recently get and I'm just going to get back here. That's always falling off there, just my head in. I think I'm going to move it. So I got the teal coloured one, which is really nice. Um, it's not mega pigmented so you do need to put like more than one layer of it on but it is a pretty colour and it is very creamy it's not like too stiff when you put it on so it feels nice on the skin and you don't have to drag it across the eye so that is quite nice so it's nice to get the brown however the funny thing is I've just recently um this week been um kind of talking about getting a brown eyeliner and I actually did get the um Maybelline one which is a lovely very rich deep chocolate brown just want to use the naked palette and um, I sometimes it's just nice to have a softer eyeliner look with the brown rather than the black all the time but this is the collection 2000 one the little box is nice 
and it comes with a nice little brush um, but the packaging um, I did say in um, the video which I didn't upload sorry <laughs> uh, the packaging inside is a little bit cheap looking it's okay it's just a normal little glass pot and that is quite nice it's just I don't like that the collection 2000 part of it on the top is just a sticker it just really is very cheap it would have looked better if it was printed onto the top or it had something on the glass itself I just think the sticker on top just kind of cheapens down the whole look of it but it is a nice colour, it's a different colour to the other one that I got, the, um, the Maybelline. Um, but I'm not actually keeping this. I'm going to send this to the lovely Kelly in our swap because um, I've got brown eyeliner so I don't really need this one. So that's that one and I, like I say it's High Street. So you could have, anybody could have gone out and got this. It's been released a couple of weeks ago so in the 3 for 2 for Superdrug a couple of people might have even picked these up. So it's a little bit disappointing and I feel like this is a bit more of the carmine aspect coming into the box. I really did expect the birthday box to have one really lovely standout full size item very much like their first box. So I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get a major name in here. Um, it's an okay box but I'm not a, really impressed i think it's because last month's box was so amazing and i loved everything in it and then this is a little bit of a letdown for what i expected for a birthday box um the next item are perfume samples and you get two rather than just the one um and this is the um i think it's lolita lemniok lemnik Leo lolita lemnik and i think there are a couple of different variations on these i got this one which is the white and gold it's in the white bottle and then I got this one which is in the lilac bottle now I have tried these the lilac one is very nice and the white one's okay um, they are quite nice and I do like perfume samples I actually have these in, my, in every single bag that I've got I've got a different perfume sample in case you want to spray some on and then I've got a cup of them just full of these things and you can just literally just have whatever you fancy on a day you don't have to wear the same perfume all the time and yeah I think it's quite good so I quite like these, they're okay. Um, I got some lashes, these are the Eldora lashes. These are obviously a full size item because you can't really have a sample size high lash. But these are only £3.90. So um, Collection 2000 is £4.99. Mm, I think we've kind of paid for the fancy paper, the balloon and the little item that they've given you for your birthday by lessening the items. Now I would rather have had plain paper, no balloon and no free gift and had better items in the box but that's maybe just me. But I do like these lashes. I think these are very nice and I will wear these so that's okay. And, and Elaine of Elaine 12 Jones actually got some different lashes to me and I'm swapping the next item um, for those. This is the Noble Isle and this is the Bath and Shower Gel. Um, so I've got one of these in each box. I will open this one and smell it but the other one's sealed. It does have a nice smell, but I think it's quite a manly smell. I'll like smell this. I think yes, it's, yes, I would more agree of, with that. Yeah, it's more of a man's sort of musky sort of smell rather than a delicate sort of woman's smell. Yeah, it's yeah. got an orange thing going on. Yeah, yeah, it has got a bit of orange to it. So anyway, that is the Noble Isles Bath and Shower Gel, and I've been giving that to Alec to use in the bath. So he can give that a go. Let me know what, what he thinks. Share? Yeah, which we usually share a bathtub like this, so that's a, that's a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, we do tend to like recycle bath water in here, you know. Titans are hard. <laughs> Actually, we do our best talking in the bathroom, don't we? Sit in the bath and just have. And guess who can stand the, 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 the hottest water? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Such a wuss. <laughs> Such a wuss. I get the water really hot and I get in and I'm like, oh, this is lovely. And he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> he has to sit on the side of the bath and he can't take it. He just can't take the heat of the water. But I like the water really hot. So um, the next item, which is the last actual official item of this box. Have I even gone through five items there? Oh yes, I have. This one, this is a bit controversial for me because this was a freebie in a magazine recently. It is worth £12, so it is an expensive product, but it's the Rehydrating Rose Daily Moisture uh, by Nails Yard and Nurtures and Replenishes Normal Skin. Now, Haley actually sent me one of these in our little swap, which I was really pleased about because I did like it, but I'd given it away. Now, this one is sealed and I'm not opening it. I do have the one of Haley up here. And this one is open. 
that's it there. It's just a white cream. It's very, very, um, it's lovely and silky, but it's just very, it just soaks straight into the skin. There's no stickiness. It just feels quite, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's not a thick cream. It's very thin and liquidy and just spreads really easy across the skin. And it's a very mild sort of smell. Um, it's not very strong and it doesn't last on the skin at all. Um, but it does feel nice on the skin because it's not a heavy moisturiser. But this one I'm sending to Kelly also, so I'm not opening that one. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the three items out of this box that I got. <laughs> which is not great so yeah and then obviously you get your balloon and this is nice you get your compact mirror I have one of these in my handbag um, just black it says glossy box on the front and then the mirror inside so Kelly if you see this if you are interested in putting, me putting this in our swap let me know um, and I will do because I have two boxes and two mirrors so yeah so that's just the compact mirror and that is the present. So that is one box. I'm just going to quickly put those items back into that box and move on to the second one. Now this is the one that comes in Alex's name and this has actually got some really nice products in it that are a little bit different. Um, this probably looks a bit more presentable. <laughs> I actually tore into the first one. Yeah. So the second box has got perfume samples in again but I got one different one here and this one is just called Lolita, Lolita. so that's quite nice and it's in a peach coloured bottle so you know you know me I like my perfume samples so they're okay I'm cool with that uh, mirror again balloon um, a Noble Isles not opening this one because this one is for Elaine so that is to stay in there then I've got three different products in this box um, the first one is this one. I'm going to get my glasses on and look at the card. It's called Unique One and it's an all-in-one hair treatment. It's the first leave-on mask on the market that offers the 10 main benefits the hair needs. It's the ideal partner for everyday use for the best stylists and the most demanding customers. So it's like a salon product. Now this is a, so small, a 9 mil sample. These full size is £14 for 150ml so you're not, it's about £1.40 that little thing there and it's a spray bottle has a little bit of a smell but nothing really too strong uh, it's interesting I will try it I do like to try like sort of things to moisturize and nourish my hair because it's colored got to pay extra attention to looking after it so I will actually give this one a go so that was quite interesting and something I never come across or seen before which is what I like from my glossy box I like items I would never normally come across and it introduces me to things that I can then go out and repurchase if I really like them for me collection 2000 and something that's already been free in a magazine anyway was not the most exciting of things <laughs> um yeah but i mean i am grateful for the lashes and things this one's a little bit different as well this is from walida and it says iris so that's obviously the smell which is a flower and it's got face cream body milk walida products only contain natural ingredients grown biodynamically to help restore health and maintain well-being so it doesn't tell you sizes but full sizes are from 10.95 and it's all in um it's all in a foreign language so yeah yeah this is quite interesting because there's no English on this box so anyway we'll open it up I don't know but there it is tiny this is a 7 mil sample and it is sealed so I just you just use the cap and pop that open there we go it's kind of an ivory coloured cream oh no <laughs> oh no 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 oh it's a no <laughs> that is a really powerful powerful smell of Oh. Ah, see, it's a no. God. That's very, very, very strong, very overpowering. It smells like lavender, not iris to me. It's no, I don't like that. I don't know what it is, but no, I'm not impressed with that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I've only had the tiniest touch out, and it just burned out on the side. So I haven't touched the actual nozzle part. So I might put this little thing in a giveaway. It's not for me. It's too strong a smelling. Um, no. So. <laughs> 
But the next thing is a nine pound item, so it's got a bit more value than the rest of the stuff, which I'm quite excited about. And I actually quite like the look of this one. And it's quite tough to get this one in. And this is the Let's Go Lashes. Lashes. They're eight ninety five, and they're available in forty styles. And it's a hundred percent human hair. Easy to apply and reusable. These one are in temptress. I like it. I like the idea of being a temptress. And they are really lovely lashes. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to unpackage these. It's always a train station when I want to make a video. Okay. Ooh. All right, it comes with a little glue thing, but I won't use that because I actually really love my. I've got Eyelua and I've got Revlon. And those are the lashes. They're actually really nice. Um, these ones are a bit more spiky, whereas these ones are really quite natural looking. Really lovely. So I like them. So I am very pleased with that particular item, and at least that one's got a bit more value to it. Um, I'm quite used to getting glossy boxes that have a really good value to them, and I really just feel like this month's boxes don't have a great deal of value to them. Um, and the full size items are okay but not great they're lashes i'm not used to having a full you know i got a full size monu that was worth 17 pound and it's not exactly the worth of it but it just is a high end brand and it's a full size and that's exciting whereas getting a full size collection 2000 item is maybe not so much exciting um i'm used to seeing that i can see that when i go out shopping i could go out every day and go to super truck and see that particular item but monu is something i've never come across before L'Oreal Mythic Oil is a salon product. I'd never come across that. So these kind of things. I mean, I'm not sure where you get these Let's Go lashes from. The packaging is very nice. I really, really like these. So this box is a little better, except this is just, oh, no. <laughs> so all, all in all, I have to say that I found this month's boxes to be a little disappointing. Just because, I don't know, maybe I typed it up a bit. Um, but last month's boxes were so amazing and got the birth bees and all that stuff got some really nice things that I've just been loving using and this month it's just been kind of oh you, you know high street and something that was free in a magazine and £3.90 lashes and you know perfume samples are nice but I can't help but think that I would have rather not had the mirror and maybe had something a little bit bigger not the balloon and just just I don't know I don't really know what I wanted but I just know that for a birthday for an anniversary I really was expecting it to be a little bit different and just a little bit more I don't know sumptuous a bit more wow have the wow factor and I really feel that these birthday boxes don't really have that wow factor which is a disappointment of course I still love glossy box I support them um, I'm excited still to get next month's boxes and see what comes next month and hopefully it can be an improvement but I just kind of feel a little bit let down on this particular month. They are products that I'll use, the other ones that I don't use I will hand on or swap. That's not an issue, I do that with any boxes with any products I haven't used. Um, but yeah, it's not so much, you know, it's a little bit of a thumbs this way this month because yeah not great but anyway that is the glossy box for may of 2012 in the uk i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you've got in your glossy box because i'm always interested to hear that um yeah so see you all soon bye